Hi, this is Jimmy Abaddon. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Full Controller Support mod for Mass Effect 2. This mod is compatible for both Steam and Origin. I'll be using Origin as a demonstration. You can download this mod from the official mod site or you can download it on my Google Drive from the video description below. Please download the mod now so you can follow along. Once you download the mod, it will come as a zip file. On the top right corner of my screen, I have a zip file for Mass Effect 2 controller support mod. Right click the zip file and go to extract files and make sure you click on OK. Once you extract it as a file, it will come out as a folder. Double click on the folder. This is the mod folder, it will open up to the left and then click on Mass Effect 2 Controller Mod Folder. And these are the files that are necessary for us to replace and add for the actual game. So let's go ahead and click on this PC to open up the File Explorer. And now you're going to want to find where your game is installed. Steam installs games differently than Origin. I'm going to go ahead and click on the hard drive where my game is installed. I install my games in Game Hard Drive. Then I'm going to go to program file x86, that's where I installed my game. And of course my game is installed under the Origins games. And this is where all my Origin games are. Again, make sure you know where your game is installed. Since this is where my game is installed, I'm going to go ahead and click on Mass Effect 2. Once I open up the Mass Effect 2 folder, I'm going to go ahead and click on Bio Game folder. Now I'm going to go to the mod folder to click on bio game. I'm going to go ahead and click on the config folder. Then I'm going to click on the PC folder. Then I'm going to click on the cooked folder. And then here is what I'm going to need to put on the cooked folder. So I'm going to go ahead and right click this. Copy it. On the right where the games folder is, I'm going to click on config, PC, cooked, and then over here I'm going to right click and hit paste. It's going to ask me, do you want to replace the destination folder? Yes, replace file in the destination. You want to do this. Once you have replaced it, we can go back to the bio game folder. Same thing with the game folder over here. So now we're going to go to cooked. And then on the right side where the game folder is, we're also going to click on Cooked. Now what we're going to do on the left where the mod folder is, we're going to grab and highlight all of these, right click them all, and hit Copy. Once you copy on the right side, you're going to go ahead and right click on the game folder and hit Paste to paste all and replace everything that is there. Once it is replaced, we're going to go back to the Bio Game folder on the mod side and on the game side we're going to go back to bio uh, game folder. Now we'll go to the DLC side for the mod folder. We we'll click on the DLCs and here are all our DLCs. We're going to start with DLC UNC Hammer 1. On the right side we're going to click on DLC and here it is Hammer 1. We're going to open the game version of that then we're going to click on Cooked PC. On the left, we're going to click on Hammer 01 and we're going to click the Cooked PC version and here they are. We're going to go ahead and highlight all of these, right click and hit copy and on the right side, right click and hit paste. Replace file and destination. Now that we've finished that, we'll go back to our DLC folder for the mod section. We'll also go back to the DLC folder for the game section. And next we're going to go with DLC UNC Moment. We're going to open this and then we're going to open Cooked PC for that as well. On the right side where the game is, again DLC UNC Moment 01, Cooked PC, here they are. Now we're going to go ahead on the mod folder, highlight all the ones that we want, copy it, and on the right where the game folder is, we're going to go ahead, right click and paste to replace them all. There you go. All the replace files are there now. 
Now on the left we're going to go to DLC where the mod folder is. And on the right we're going to go to DLC again. Okay, so now we're going to look at the stuff on the mod folder that are not in the actual game folder. So DLC EXP part 0. We're going to right click this. Copy it. On the right side, right click it. Paste. There, we have the DLC uh, mod for it now. On the left side, we're going to go ahead and click on DLC Pack 1. Right click. Copy it. And then on the right side, we're going to go ahead and paste it. There. We're done with the DLC side. So the bio, the bio folder is, the bio game folder is finished for the mod side. So now we're going to go to DLC fix. On the right side, we're going to go to Mass Effect 2. Going to click on DLC fix. And then inside DLC fix, we'll see a binary folder. We click on the binary folder. Here they are, the fix for the DLC. On the right side, you'll see we have to go to the binary folder, like before. So now that we're on the binaries folder, on the left side, we're going to go ahead and left click and copy this. And on the right side, we're going to right click and we're going to go paste it. Do you want to replace it to the file destination? You're going to say yes, replace it. And then after that, you're done. You have successfully installed the mod. Go ahead and close both windows and either open up Steam or Origin depending on the game, the platform that you installed the mod on. I did Origin. Go ahead and click on Mass Effect 2 and hit play. You can now turn on your Xbox controller and play the game with full controller support. Have fun!